My name is uh, Darren Kettler. I am currently employed at Intel Corporations and uh, my background is in engineering and uh, I've been in the semiconductor industry for 21 years. What kind of education do I need uh, to become a mechanical engineer? Mechanical engineering is very strong in mathematics. Uh, in order to become a mechanical engineer, you need to at least get a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering to start with. And uh, again, the discipline is very heavy in mathematics, so you need to be good at math as well. What kind of salary can you make as a mechanical engineer? Oh, geez. Um, you can expect starting out, out of school, you could be making sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year starting out and depending on if you continue education and what types of industries you find yourself in you could be making over a hundred thousand a year. What opportunities further down the line are there in mechanical engineering? Well mechanical engineering is a very uh, diversified and flexible engineering degree you can go into a lot of many you can go into very a lot of different disciplines um, you can do um, you can work with aeronautical engineers uh, in like NASA for example um, semiconductor industry which is on which is what I'm in right now dealing with microprocessors at a at a, at a um, micron level size level uh, the medical field, biomechanical, um, creating new arms and, and things like that for, for patients. So it's very, you can go a lot, of may, a lot of different directions with the career. All right, and lastly, what kind of advice would you give to someone who's preparing to become a mechanical engineer? The best advice I can give you is continue with your education through the rest of high school and into college and don't divert from that track. Stay focused. Um, focus on your mathematics, uh, but also focus on being innovative and creative, thinking outside the box. Don't let uh, barriers get in your way. Think outside of the box. Uh, and find ways to stay motivated through it because it can be challenging and tough to, to get through that. All right, that's all. Thank you very much. So once again, a huge thank you to Darren for being here. I had a lot of fun interviewing him, and I learned a lot. But what else did I learn from this interview? I also learned that mechanical engineering is a great field to go into, especially with how broad the spectrum goes. I now know that mechanical engineering can also double as other fields of engineering, that I could go into the medical field, or the aeronautical field, or several other fields of study. I learned that I need to study math skills because, as an engineer, I would be using them on a daily basis. As an engineer, I could also design and manufacture different mechanical systems that would benefit humans later down the road. I could also come up with new forms of power based on perpetual motion. The possibilities are endless with this career, but it's not all fun and dandy. Degrees are in engineering are extremely expensive and classes are very difficult, as Darren said. Oftentimes, a bachelor's degree is a minimum requirement and higher education is highly recommended. Mechanical engineers get paid quite a lot, but not nearly as much as other fields of engineering like electrical engineering or petroleum engineering. With a career in this field, travel may be necessary as well, which is kind of a minor setback, and depending on where you come from, it could be good or bad. But despite these very minor drawbacks, I think mechanical engineering is a field with tons of potential, and I think a career in this field would suit my interests very well.